The turn of the century approaches rapidly and everyone in Poland Lithuania from Königsberg to Kiev and from Riga to Krakow are preparing to celebrate the turn of the century to the 1900 and we only have a few more months until then. Meanwhile all of Poland's western and southern neighbors are at war with each other over I don't even know what exactly I don't really remember. Uh, North German Federation is trying to put uh, Prussia in their sphere of influence while Prussia and Austria are valiantly resisting against this imperialism. Unfortunately, their dreams are being crushed now by invading Japanese forces. So, unfortunately, as much as I would like to help them, I cannot more than the war subsidies that are already going to Prussia and Austria. Meanwhile, Hungary decided, hey, we really want this Istria part for whatever reason. So we're going to invade here and they are now at war with a bunch of countries. So I'm excited to see how all of this unfolds. Uh, currently we also have a research to put down and I don't really know what exactly to put there. We have uh, really achieved most things that we, that we need. We could maybe get another national focus. We could use that. So revolution, counter-revolution, it will be for now. We don't really need more money. Navy tech is not a priority and everything else is uh, where it needs to be. So let's get going with time. Hungary wants military access. I'm fine with that. We were at war with them just recently, but it doesn't really matter too much. We're making railroads, but that's on all of our capitalists. Other than that, the industry is going well. We are the fourth greatest power on earth. So let's survey the world and see what is going on. We will leave it on speed four for now. And we take a look here. We have the British Union at the top. Not too, too unexpected. They are closely followed by France. And uh, a bit behind France is the United States of America. Beyond that, we arrive. On fourth place, we have the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. And we, while, I mean, the United States are mostly relying on the industry to get power, we, however, are a bit more diverse. We, have, we are the most prestigious nation on Earth to begin with. We have a decent industry, but fairly small still. And we have a powerful military, so I'm pretty happy about all of those things. North German Federation comes second here, but we might lose that point. Because right now, most of North German Federation are... They've had some issues. Let's just put it like that. Then we have Japan, which is below that. And we have South Africa on seventh place, which is pretty fun. They have 3.4 million people, and I think they do get quite a bit of immigration and stuff like that. Now they're in eighth place today, and Netherlands are are switching place all the time, which is pretty funny considering that the South Africans have Boer as their only primary culture, and you know they speak Afrikaans. So yeah, we have two Dutch countries almost as uh, down here, and now the game is starting to lag as uh, the turn of the century comes up. There we are, and we have switched over. We actually border South Africa. So once upon a time we might... Oh, there's a crisis. Let's lower speed. We don't have any other choice than to involve ourselves. And the Germans, of course, found fascism. It's between Netherlands and the British Union over Aceh. Indonesia acquires all states. All states. That is pretty big. And uh, I don't have really have anything against Netherlands. But it would be pretty fun to see Indonesia being a thing in the game. I would find that amazing. So I think, since no one else is going to involve themselves here, we will support the British Union in their efforts. I'm sorry, Netherlands, but you are going to lose a lot of your territory. Damn, Netherlands. Can't, tr can't rely on them. I'm also trying to uh, use a different recording setup so if there's any lag or if there's uh, any desyncs if there's anything really with the image or anything like that with technical quality that is dipping please do let me know so i can rearrange in the future and try to figure out the optimal way to do all of this we have um, found some more rubber and we have the rubber rich territory of congo and how much of the rubber in the world are we producing we are producing 38 percent of the world's rubber so we have uh, almost a monopoly on it. Not really. We have a sizable portion of it. I wonder where everything else is being produced. Let's take a look. Let's see, audio output, and let's find one of the rubber regions. Here we have some rubber. No, that's tropical wood. Sorry. And that was not rubber at all. Where is the rubber? 
Where is the rubber? There we have some rubber, is it? Yeah, finally found some rubber. All right, let's see. Where is the rubber being produced other than here? Ah, over here. In some parts of India and Sri Lanka, and we also have here on this peninsula. That is, that it has a name, I just don't remember the name. And where else do we have rubber? Maybe, oh, there we have some. So not a lot of rubber in the world, honestly. It will start to spread a bit more. But for now it's Musumbu. Musumba, I mean. And now we have Madingu. So that gives us a second area. It should really boost our production, I would say. 51%. Okay, so rubber is a fairly new thing. And we have half of it at the moment. And we also will get more of it due to having all of Congo. Netherlands is unwilling to give up all of their colonies, and I can understand that, but with having both the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and the British Union against them, I'm pretty sure they have no other choice than to surrender and accept fate. And we have even more rubber. All right, so while the rubber is going on, we will take a look at our armies, because we can make some more men. And they have been through a lot. All of these men are somewhat exhausted, I won't remove the, the yellow guys. Uh, yellow guys are, are pretty cool. Now, we, of course, we have a bunch more technologies to pick. And since we um, want to be cool people, we'll go with anti-rationalism for the sweet, sweet research points. Let's see here. What are they lacking? They're lacking one artillery. So I think I will make it for them. Yeah, Polish artillery. And after that, we will just make some more... More armies. I think we can... Oh, is this really going to go for war? Are the Dutch really that? Far -sighted? Now, what is happening with Sweden? What are the wars in the world? Uh, French liberation of alsace Lothringen, And for some reason... Wait, what? Uh, what? Did the Germans already give up or something? And uh, what happened to... They gave up Indonesia as well. What is happening? What is going on? So, currently, Sweden and Japan are fighting against France with the French liberation of Elsass Lothringen for some reason. Probably they already peaced out with Germany. But it's still a bit strange move. And then British Union fascists backed down from a conflict with Netherlands where they had my support give up, like, liberate all of Indonesia? I, I don't understand. Why would they do such a thing? There's really no reason at all for them to back down there. And meanwhile, Middle and Eastern Europe are still embroiled in war. Sardinia, Piedmont is getting murder, murdering Hungary, more to the point. They do have uh, quite a few armies still standing over here in Sardinia, Piedmont itself. And now Grand Colombia wants to call me into a war against the FRCA for whatever reason. Oh yeah, we had another another one of these things. Um, Minsk, we will see if you need some intellectuals. And we're back again. Sorry, I just had to take a quick cut there to clean my throat and stuff like that. Here we have some of our ships. There's some monitors being done. We could probably make some more monitors, honestly, so we can defend ourselves against the Germans. That's really the primary reason to have that. And uh, what, we lost one war exhaustion, but we had none to begin with. I don't understand. Oh, and we have some more monitors, I believe. Yeah, here we have a bunch of more ships being made in Africa. It's really becoming a naval power, a colonial power, even though we've been a colonial power now for, I would like to say centuries, but I know it's only been decades. But it feels like centuries. And that's the only thing that matters, how you feel. How much is the Navy costing us right now? The Navy is costing us as much as... Uh, quite a bit. Yeah, about 250 or so. So not too much considering we're earning 2000 plus every month, or every day. Every day even. And let's make some more militant socialists. I don't appreciate you being here. Probably in Africa. Definitely in Africa. 
And in the, well, apparently it is also in Slovakia. I don't understand why they are so very specific with the militant socialism. Maybe the, that's where the bastions of socialism are. Over here in Bratislava. Everyone knows about the communism in Bratislava? It shouldn't be come as a surprise to anyone. All right, let's go for African night. No, not African. It's in Europe. We could really recruit a bunch of men. So we will do so. Actually, I will pause the game really quick because there's so many pop-ups coming up. So we will use, um, is it 12? And then we will have after this 22. And two of these and two of these for two armies of 13,000 men each. Being recruited at the same time. Men for the colonies is in Eritrea. Population growth, assimilation rate, life rating. Or will be in Lithuania. Well, I, you know, the Lithuanians are a bit underrepresented in, in Poland, Lithuania. So we will encourage some more population growing here. The poor, 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 poor Lithuanians need more people. So I'm going to boost that here. With a nice 0.5% population growth until it's five years so it won't result in too many people but it will result in more than we had before and our athletes are victorious apparently in the games so we are becoming even more prestigious how much would it take for us to pass the United States it would take a miracle since the United States are the most stable country in this game unless they turn into fa you know fascism or stuff like that and implode. I do like that the native confederations still exist and they are still an uncivilized nation. Now they are a satellite of the British Empire but they are under the protection of the United States of America. So that's interesting. Interesting position for them. The Native American miners and there's actually a lot of Native American miners now in that area. The Confederation of Colombia however is doing much better. They are a civilized nation also consisting of natives but for some reason, I don't even know why, like, this area should really have become a civilized nation by now. There's no reason why they aren't. British Empire is taking a span over here. And uh, it looks like the FRCA is winning, maybe. Or at least they won before. No. Well, they, call it, they take, took David, but they're not going to take much more than that. Armies are being raised all across here. We really do need more because we are right. We're right for another war with Russia. And that's gonna happen sooner or later. We we'll also need our infamy to go down a little bit before. We could take uh, Orsha. That's the next area. I wonder if we will have more decisions after that. Because so far we've gotten decisions that encourage all kinds of cores to to be put. So I wonder how far, far that will go. We have mostly re-established the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. So I think that will be um, ending fairly soon. Anti-rationalism. Apparently people here are really mad. Why? Why are they mad? Specifically in Pinsk. Not, not anywhere around at all, but in Pinsk specifically. And they had to give away Dalmatia as a free country. So, yeah, Austria is losing ground still. So with anti-rationalism done, I think bolt-action rifles will be what we go for next. Could also go for military directionism to get a sweet, sweet gas attack. We'll go there. We passed 22 million people, which is wonderful. Let's see how many are leaving our country. There's uh, a few. And I would like to see where people are mostly leaving for these days. Migration. South Africa is receiving a hell of a lot of immigrants. That's why they're doing so much better in this these kind of mods than there are before. Costa Rica acquires Costa Rica. Sure. They, uh, they acquire what they need. And even more prestige for us. Beautiful. I think that definitely our next war will be with Russia. And I'm assuming the North German Federation won't just lie here and let us 
take all territories and get away with Königsberg. They really hate us for having those cores. But right now they are decimated and uh, I wouldn't really suspect much difficulty from handling the North German Federation. They do have Sweden as their ally and Sweden is uh, somewhat strong to be fair. Well, not at the moment at least. But they also have Russia, no, not Russia, Japan as their ally. And Japan now is attacking France, I'm assuming, for Korea. No, it's actually part of the French liberation of alsace lorraine Who could have known? Oh, Malta. Definitely. Definitely want an alliance with Malta. I mean, who else would you want an alliance with but Malta? Yeah. When these armies are done, we will make a new batch of armies and ready up for war against the Russian Empire. They are allied with... Netherlands, Portugal, or the combined Portuguese Brazil Empire, Serbia, South Africa, and Austria. So, if we were to declare war here, and let's just take a look. If we were to declare war here, would any of our allies join? And uh, no, not a single one of them. Not a single damn one of them. That's pretty bad. The Plitzer missile engineers are underway. That's pretty good. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. So we just can get those done. And maybe change the intellectuals here to be bureaucrats. And uh, the intellectuals here to be bureaucrats. And also the intellectuals here to be bureaucrats. Because I'm assuming that bureaucrats are low everywhere. No, not capitalists. Not yet. Bureaucrats. There we are. Well, it seems like they already have to enough, so capitalists there will be. We will buy our way into Bahrain. Where is Bahrain again? Oh, it's right here. No, oh, it's not right there. Uh, it's, it's the little island, right? Yes. Bahraini Abu Dhabi. Having all kinds of negative effects there. Lose consciousness. Liberals. Combat width and uh, military directionism. Gotta check out the Russians. How strong are you when it comes to military? You are 19 and we have 21 at the moment. So that's pretty cool. We can change the debt law to bankruptcy. And that is fine. Serbia wants an alliance, but I'm pretty sure that will break as soon as we declare war on the Russians. It's just a thing that that's going to happen. And position all the men along the border. And try to recruit some more. How many men can we recruit more? We can recruit a few. But uh, we will try to be a bit um, conservative here with our additional forces. At least this time we will only make one batch at a time. Just in case we run out. We won't. So we will make more. We can get uh, Ashkenazi and uh, all kinds of people here joining the army. So there will be... Um, okay, let's let's redo it. I'm, I'm going to redo it. These pop-ups also makes it difficult to make armies at the same time. So, we're going to redo it and we're going to need to have 12 of these. And then make that we have until we have 22. There we are. And Engineer and Hussar. And that's mostly emptying our men that we can get. British Union wants an alliance once again. For some reason that alliance ended. So that's not very good. The British Empire becomes a puppet of the United States of America. Holy shit, that's gonna turn things around, isn't it? They do can tend to fight over there. So they want to turn the British Empire into a puppet. Well, well, well. I mean, the British Empire is nothing like it used to be. But imagine if anyone would tell the British Empire that at, you know, 1776 or before that, in the American War of Freedom or whatever it's called, that, you know, one day the British Empire will be the puppet of the United States, of these rebels here. here. I don't think they would... I don't think they would laugh you out of the room or... Yeah, overall, I don't really think they would appreciate that. Not at all. Not appreciate that sentiment whatsoever. 
the Russians army and I do like that they have so much military military power for having 38 brigades it's got I, I have a theory it must include your your potential for mobilization because there's no way that Russia could get this amount of score for so few brigades there's no way yet they are and we will send more men over here to oh yeah now I think I, I know why they're so mad in Pinsk we did that event that drained the, the marches in Pinsk so that could be the thing I mean march are pretty bad for everything so draining that they should really be happy except for the people who whose homes were destroyed I would understand them not being happy but oh well oh well oh well oh well let's make this army done let's make magic it's gonna take approximately 120 days or so a bit more than that so we should be done well I, I would assume that we will be done around the beginning of 1904 there are some reactionary and communist waves walking around here in Eastern Europe Dalmatia over here has 12,000 men not too bad for a country that mostly involves Sadar hold on Sadar, Split and Dubrovnik I always like Dubrovnik I want to go and visit the town and I will go walk around and claim it that it's still called uh, what's the name again Ragusa yeah I don't think they would appreciate that at all how is the literacy going and how are the Demo D democrats the bureaucrats going over here how is our bureaucratic efficiency where did I see that again I don't remember exactly where I, where I saw that it's somewhere here it's supposed to be here somewhere uh, oh well a place in the sun a place in the sun definitely that's ours and Romania is calling us into the Western Transylvania war for the Western Transylvania against Hungary and Hungary is at war with Romania and uh, those are the only ones involved so sure we can involve ourselves in this war we will send one army of 39,000 men to help out and that is all we're gonna send nothing more nothing less And they will siege at least until we reach Budapest. This will be a fairly one-sided war, I imagine. Not too much that will occur. Not too much problems that should arise from it. I don't expect the Hungarians to push through too much resistance, considering they've been at war consistently since that last war we had with them. So yeah, damn Hungarians. Give up. We will march to Debrecen and the siege that. This should go very, very quickly since there's no forts here of any kind. And just to keep that up, we will go to Bekejaba. Bekejaba. Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I nailed that. And take that and Budapest. Budapest does have a fort, fort level two, but it still should be a cakewalk for our armies. And Hungarians totally have, they totally have five brigades. So yeah, this war, they might as well surrender now. There's no way they will get out of it. We were the ones responsible for you existing, Hungary, Hungary or Hungary. Sit down and give up. Oh, come on. That's just, that's just terrible. <laughs> they kept Eastern Transylvania. That's just awful. Romania almost looks how it, sh how, it should be, how it is supposed to be looking, especially since they have Moldavia and Bessarabia. But they are lacking Eastern Transylvania. I'm pretty sure this is where the land where most Hungarians live anyway. Yeah. So maybe this is how the map is supposed to be looking in real life. Imagine that. Imagine that. We are looking for two more... There we have infantry that will be done, or no, an artillery that will be done in about three or four months. And the Russian Empire went broke. This is shaping up to be the best possible situation for us to attack. The only problem will be that the South Africans will assault us here in 
down here. So I think we're going to place our armies in, uh, pre you know, predicting their arrival. So we will have these men come down here and Bunkea. And uh, I think those will be enough. We'll also raise all expenses for the military in preparation for this. Because we need to have our armies at full and maximum efficiency before we head into the war. And now soon those artillery will be done and we can make two armies. One of which, actually both of them will go and uh, try to deter Austria from joining the war. I think the eastern armies should be enough. These six land units or six... Yeah, the six armies will should be enough to deal with that. And come on artillery, you're soon done. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Done and done. There we are, and split you up and send you to Bratislava and send you to Trenčín. So there we are. Ready for war. And that war will take place next episode. I hope you enjoyed this build up to another war with Russia. And if you did enjoy it, then please consider hitting the like and uh, if you haven't, also the subscribe button. It would mean a great deal to me. I always appreciate getting both of those things as well as comments. So Hit that up as well, if you are so inclined. And soon we will get back to war with Russia and hopefully, and probably, going to add Estonia as a thing that we want. The thing that the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth needs to be taken under custody. Let's just call it that. Anyway, I will see you soon. Have a good one.